in this tutorial I'll make this cube effect using a, a, one of the filters within GIMP. It's a, a standard filter so it'll be quite easy to, uh, to load it up. You don't have to go to any websites and, and download the filters. So we'll open GIMP and then with, since I know where the, the um, images are I'll open them as layers because I need to load four four images that's one and I hold the shift key down and that's the the four images so I open them as layers which is the same as opening them uh, first one in a, as an image and then the other three as layers okay I have my four images I don't really need four because you only see, see three sides of the box or the cube the next we go to filters map and we choose the map object click on that filter there and that will open up a little dialog of options now in this options here uh, the first one there is map it's got different or plain in the map options but we want to use the box so we click on the box and it'll put in another tab watch the tabs at the top there's the other tab that's the box tab and it says there preview you can preview what the box will appear but you need to do the orientation first so we click on the orientation because the rotation is all set the zeros now the first one needs to be about 20 this is you can play with these and, and set them up your own way and the Y needs to be about minus 20 or 25 we'll put it there now we can, we can hit the preview and see the, uh, the little box now we need to go to the box tab because we have four images you've got the front, back, top and bottom left and right hand side so we go to the top and I'll put the yellow flower on the top pull down menu gives me the, the four images that are on the uh, on the layers channel so I click on the top one now the next one I can choose uh, this one's the back well you won't see that one so I'll leave that one as a default which is that particular flower there now the next the next option is um, the back the, uh, the top we've got that one, we've got the front oh we need the top so the top one I put that little red one in and I'll go to preview and see if they're going in the right places there we go, there's one there, one there and this one here is called the right hand side it appears on the left hand side within the um, preview image so I'll go to uh, the right hand and I'll put this, this particular uh, geranium in there, that one and I do my preview and you can see now that geranium is in there now we go to material and we can pump this up a few specs about 60 and then do a preview and it'll lighten it up a little bit then we go to the light and the point of light you choose uh, direct light now this will really throw some brightness into, the, into your cube so we hit preview and that's, that's how made our cube I'll go back to options once again you can see there you can make the, the background transparent if you do that uh, the uh, filter makes another window and puts them all in the other window but if I leave it as a default with no uh, transparent background it'll place it in the window I'm working with now with a white background so I'll, uh, I'll click I'll use it as default settings and I click OK and GIMP goes through and, and, and and builds that cube for me and there's our cube with all the images nicely placed around them in the right proportions you don't need to have all the images the same size if uh, one one is a large one and the other one is a smaller image it'll build a border around it and still place it on the box for you and to, uh, to save them well you can just save the top one you can turn those bottom ones off you can just save the top image and, and then close down you just go to save as because uh, there's no transparency in it so you just save it as a uh, JPEG 
and in this case I'll just type in BOX double X because I ha I think I have another box on there yes I have and I've just put an extra X in so we save it and of course it goes through the uh, the format of wanting to know what you want to save it as and ask to flatten the image so we do that we export it and then uh, we save and that's our job completed so rate the video and uh, visit my channel there will be a, a link to the website on, on, on doing this within uh, a PDF file